So here I am scrolling down YouTube and inside of my subscriptions, I come across this one right here by Trisha Paytas. It is titled, I am transgender, female to male. And there's two pictures of her. One as she is now and the other one in, I'm assuming, in are, is guy clothes. I don't know, it just looks like a polo shirt to me. Her in, in a wig. But that's what I'm gonna react to because that kind of pisses me off. Listen, I really don't believe Trisha Paytas is transgender. I hope this is not clickbait because this is offensive. I'm not even transgender and I'm offended. I know for damn sure she's not no transgender. This woman is very sexual and she's really in love with her body. She always talks about her breasts and everything else, so she is really in love with her body. You truly believe you are living in the wrong body and you're a male? That sh those type of feelings shouldn't be happening. So this kind of pisses me off, so I'm gonna go ahead and react to this video. I don't know what she's gonna say. I don't know this is a joke. It ain't funny. But let's go ahead and watch this together, y'all. Hey guys, what is up? Um, Oh my god, I'm already annoyed. <laughs> Let me tell you why. In this video, of course, she's not gonna wear any makeup. So that means she's talking serious, okay. Today, I am going to be doing a video that might, people might think is I'm trying to be offensive or I'm setting back like a movement or something like that. But I wanna talk about this because it's something that I actually have felt for a long time. Someone in the comments will know, like, mm -hmm. leaving the comments below, like, someone will know, I did a video, like, maybe, it was right before I started dating Jason, it was, like, in January of, like, 2018, yeah, 2018, I did a video, and I don't know if it's still, I think it is, where I wanted to be referred to only as T, because I didn't know, I didn't... I didn't feel like I identified as a girl. Now this seems like crazy and weird and shocking because I was born a f female um, and I, I... And for those who don't know what transgender is, it's when you are born a certain sex, but you feel that you are trapped in the wrong body. You feel that you are the opposite sex and you're just in the wrong body. And that's why a lot of transgenders actually do surgeries and change their appearance to fit, to fit their mentality, to fit who they believe they truly were meant to be. I'm ultra girly now. I'm very like, I'm very girly, right? Because when I was younger, I was teased a lot because they said I looked like a boy. I had a boy haircut. I had, you know, just stuff I couldn't even control, like just hair on my lip, hair on my face. So people would call me like a man. Like there was one nickname and it's, it's not even funny. It's not even weird. It's not even like clever. They'd be like, Trisha the man famous. Like, I swear, that, it sounds like I made that up. Like it's freaking weird. I didn't really get it then. I don't get it now, but they would just be like that I was like a man and I didn't get it other than my lip. I know they made fun of my hair lip a lot. Anyways, so to overcompensate for that when I got older, like when I was like 18 and I could start like, you know, like spending money on my hair and like all that stuff like that. Um, and I used to always wear sports bra because my natural breasts were very, like, one was uneven, like, they were hella uneven, and one was really saggy, and one was kind of up, so I always wore, like, sports bras, to, like, flat on my chest, and I never liked the attention as a, uh, so after I was, like, a man, blah, 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 around middle school is when I started, like, getting breasts, and I started getting, like, attention from, like, older guys, like, not even high schoolers, but, like, just grown-ass men, and I didn't like that at the time, which is very weird, I know, because now I'm very hypersexual, I'm very much about boobs and, like, showing them off. And exactly what I said. She really is. She is very sexual with her body and other women's bodies. That's my issue, because here's the thing. I identify with men better. I always, people always think, like, there's something wrong with me because I don't have, like, that many girlfriends, like... I love girls, like I do love girls and I love like, I love like their sensitivity and all that stuff like that. But that's why I identify more as like a gay man because I like guys, but I also identify as a- Which could be true. Just because you're transgender does not mean you have to like a certain sex. A uh, woman to man and liking women still. 
but you still, but you wouldn't be considered a lesbian. You would be considered a straight man. That's just an example. The guy, if that makes sense. The thing that kind of like stops it is I do love, which a lot of gay men do too. I do love like glam and voluptuousness. So in my head, I feel like I'm a transgender female to male, but also like a drag queen. That's how I, that's kind of how I've like rationalized it in my head because like, okay, let me just tell you why. Okay. I've never heard that before. So this can actually open up my mind to what she's trying to say. <laughs> so let's hear some more. I identify as a boy more so, and from an early age. I don't like to be center of attention, except when I want to be center of attention. So like, okay, think of like a drag queen, white, right? They do like their full glam and everything, but in their day-to-day, -day, they're not. They're very like low-key, whatever. That's kind of me. Like when I want to put on a show, I put on the hair, I put on the makeup, I put on the outfits. But if you guys know me on this channel or my second channel or just in life, I never wear hair or makeup like in my day to day. I usually look crazy. Like watch my second channel. I look insane. Like as far as like girliness goes, like I just never wear makeup. Like I'm like, I like zits on my face. Like they just like let them go. Like, and, um, and so I've always just kind of related to guys on that level. And I've always just been attracted to guys, but not straight guys. I've always been attracted to guys so okay I'm a little bit confused now <laughs> okay I'm so lost I just I just never came across a transgender um, that she's describing doesn't mean they don't exist I'm pretty sure they do but <sighs> just because you can relate to men more does not mean you're trans a lot of straight women, a lot of lesbians have more guy friends than girlfriends because they can just relate to them more. Uh, my wife, for example, she's always had male friends and she can just relate to them more. Doesn't mean she's she wants them. I don't know. Let's keep listening. That's why I have, like always thought I had, like maybe I'm a gay man. Um and then when it comes to girls, like I admire girls' beauty so much and I just like think girls are so beautiful to like look at. But I, and like straight guys like kind of turn me off. It's very weird. Like I hate like over masculine energy. Um, so like as a girl, I just never really related to that. And then the final thing that kind of brings it full, I feel transgender almost, is I've always- I feel transgender almost. <laughs> okay. He's had penis envy. Yeah, where I just, this sounds so crazy to say out loud, but like I just always thought my life would be easier if I had that part. That if I asserted myself, I wouldn't be a bitch, but I would be like a man. And that's how I always think. When I talk to people, I, I think of myself as being assertive and I think of myself as masculine energy, but because I'm a female and I have more of a female parts, people think, oh, she's a bitch. What the hell? Girl, no matter what, society is gonna always think of you that way. That's just reality. And any job, for example, you come across a male boss. He is known to be just assertive, aggressive, on top of his shit, right? But then you come across a female boss. And because she has the same personality trait as the guy boss, she's gonna be considered a bitch. And that's just reality, as sad as that is. That's just reality. A lot of people look at things that way. Does not mean you're trans, girl. That shit does not mean you're trans. I'm gone. So, the whole transgender community has always... So just because you are very independent, strong-minded, assertive, you think you should be in a man's body? I'm offended as a woman. I am offended as a woman right now. Girl. Like called to me for some reason, and I don't, and I never knew why. I'm like, well, if you guys, I'm not like, I don't go out and advocate for it. Although I would be so down, and I, and I, and I love, obviously, I love the transgender community. So like, I should be the advocate for it. But what was always stopping me was like, 
I always thought, oh my gosh, am I trans? And I know, like, I know I've been, like, trolled and stuff in the past, and so I don't want people to think this is, like, a trolling video. I've known, like, I've, like, come out as... I think it's a trolling video. As, like, gay before, I've come out as bisexual before. And that's kind of why I have issues in general with just terms in general and labels in general, like male, female, gay, straight, but because I don't know if I would say I'm confused. I would say I'm all of it. And that's why I don't like labels in general. Like I don't like- Then why did you title your video, I am transgender? Girl. Let me keep drinking my coffee for this shit. And I've dated people who are bisexual and people are like, well, they're gay because they date guys more than girls or they're gay or they're straight. Like, I don't like that you have to be one or the other and you have to like something more than the other. I've always felt that way. Even with transgendered people, like, I've, I've always been fascinated because there are some who transition fully and then there are some that only transition partially and then there are some that don't necessarily transition at all but just choose to identify as a different gender. And I but a lot of the times it's because of finances and they're not able to as much as they want to. I think I'm more of, I just choose to identify as a boy. And I don't, and I know this is where it's gonna get a little scandalous, I don't love pronouns like they and them because that's super confusing, I think. Personal opinion, and I, that might be unpopular opinion because I know Sam Smith recently is like, I'm a they or something. That sounds like plural people. And while people think I'm schizophrenic and I have multiple personalities, like I choose not to identify as multiple personalities. So <laughs> I get it, but I think like, I don't think you have to necessarily choose one gender. I think you can be a guy some days and I think you could be a girl some days and that's how I feel. So. But you're still using labels though. You're still saying guys and you're saying girls. Those are labels. I understand what she's trying to say though with when it comes to labeling. I'm okay with labels. I'm a lesbian woman. I love women, okay? I'm, I'm as gay as they come. Some people are not, and that's okay, and that's okay. While I love the term like girly and femme, I think that applies to me as a gay man. The problem with identifying as a gay man when you have female body parts is that you're not going to be able to fully satisfy yourself by being with a gay man, No, nor am I going to be able to satisfy a partner, like a gay man partner. And that's what's frustrating, and I think it's frustrating just in general, and as I have watched so many beautiful like transgender people like come out and stuff like that, I know with dating it's very difficult because people, even if you are, even if you, let's say you fully transition, right, I'm just going to use like a very broad generic transgender person like male to female and you have that full transformation you are a you have breasts and you have a vagina and you have all of that even if you have all of that and you tell a guy like hey i was born a male like guys would be pissed straight guys gay guys whatever right and same but same like in my terms like let's say i want to be male to female right or female to male okay like obviously i look like a female now so if that's not what they're attracted to they're attract attractive for a mask and you know, the parts, that obviously I'm not gonna satisfy them, but let's say I went full transition and got the parts and everything, and I said, hey, I was actually born a female, that would turn off a lot of guys as well. And I know this because I've talked to guys about this, I've talked to gay guys about it, straight guys about it, and I get it, and for me, I've been with transgendered people, and um, I, I've only been with a male to female, I've never been the opposite way around, so I don't actually know what that transition's like, but, to me, it's like, it's the same thing. It's not different. You, surgery is amazing these days that you can't even tell a difference. Speaking of surgeries, I'm a little bit confused even more because she's had surgeries with her breasts. And I believe they were implants. I don't think she downsized. I do believe that she had breast implants because one is actually bigger than the other and she talks about it all the time. Like she, I think she's, she was botched a little bit. But why get breasts then? Why make your breasts bigger then? I, I don't know, I'm so lost. Prince, if that makes sense. And I've been with a full transition and I've been with a partial transition, male to female. And um, like it all works the same, feels the same. And when you're with a male to female trans, like, and they haven't fully transitioned on the bottom, you still get a woman, if that makes sense. You're still getting a woman energy with a different feel, if you know what I mean. Um, so, 
I think it's more important to be open, and I'm not saying out the world needs to be open, I'm saying with me and my mind, I need to be open, and while my name is Trish, like, I never really identified with that name, I've always actually hated the name Trish, and for some reason, I never liked it, but I just realized now because it's such a it's, a, it's a female name, and I don't really identify as female. Do I fully identify as male? I don't know. Well, now this past week, I had the boy, societal boy haircut, which is like short. Okay. And I've never felt more freer and liberated in my life. I wasn't getting looks from gross straight men. Then girl, cut your hair. Keep it short then. Doesn't mean you're trans. You, okay, you, you basically just said that you loved your hair short. I didn't have to do my hair in the morning, but it wasn't looked down upon. It wasn't like someone was like, oh my god, your hair, which I have gotten those multiple times when I don't brush my hair or whatever, people always think your hair. But while I had that on, no one said anything. I could just literally roll out of bed and just go. And I felt free and I felt happy. I felt really happy. I didn't have to worry about hair or my body so much. I know guys are like into their bodies and stuff like that, but I didn't feel that way as a boy. I felt like, oh, I'm really, really free of myself and my body. And um, while I did have like... Mm -hmm. But a lot, of, a lot of people do feel that way. For example, when you go through a breakup, usually the woman, she does a drastic change on her hair. She has to feel different. She has to feel opposite of, of what that relationship was. So when they leave that relationship, they go through that physical, that physical drastic change to make them feel free. Doesn't mean nothing, girl. Oops, my butt. I felt like a thick boy, and I kind of like love being a thick boy. I don't know, it's kind of like, <laughs> I know it kind of sounds crazy, and I'm sure people think I'm crazy, but I just, I felt it. And like, you'll see in the vlogs, so I have a lot of footage. I felt happy, and I felt like just, it was, I was just feeling it more so than I've ever felt glam or anything. And I think it honestly is just a feeling, and I don't want people to like be offended. I don't want trans. I don't want trans to be offended, or gay, or straight, or whatever. But I think I'm like, mocking this, or I'm confused. And I know that's such a misconception that transgender people are confused. And it's not that I'm confused; it's that I identify as both. I just don't necessarily like the term they or them. This girl just wants to be included in everything, every group. And she just, she, she's a troll. If y'all don't know who Trisha Paytas is, she is known as a troll. So th this could just be for views. And she's offended so many people throughout the years. So many people. And this, and she's still going at it. I swear to God. So do I think I'm transgender? Yes, a thousand percent. Do I identify with my natural born gender? A thousand percent. So I think that's where I'm at and I feel really free and liberated and I wanted to talk about this because I think it's important. Hold on. My wife's calling me. Hi baby. Oh, hold on. Oh, you ooh, you look kind of pretty. Hold on, girl. Who you with? Hold on. Let me show you. Let me show them. Can I show you? Can I show them you? I'm filming. Yeah? Look at my woman. That's my wife. In case y'all aren't subscribed to Bliss and Purse, that's my wife right there. She is taken. Show them your ring, girl. Show them your ring. You better have that ring on that finger, girl. I swear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure is, Mary. Sure is. She's at work right now. All right, baby. I'm filming. Can I finish filming and I'll call you right back? I love you. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. All right, back to the video. That you can identify as masculine, feminine. You can identify as male and female if you choose. I mean, if you're a man and you love being a man, awesome. If you're a female and loving a female, awesome. But I've never loved being a female. I've never been so excited about being a female. I love the attention I get when I'm glammed and dolled up. But let's be real, I'm basically a drag queen. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a show. I am a smoke show. I get my hair and makeup done and I am someone completely different. And then when I'm just low key and I think she, I think she's getting a little bit confused with drag queen and transgender. I think when she sees a trans, she's like, oh my god, because she goes all out with the glam, makeup crazy, uh, wigs, hair styles all over the her costumes, the way she dresses. She she's pretty cool with that, right? And I think she because she does all that and she looks at a drag queen doing all that too. I think she's comparing herself with them. And so because they're gay men, or because they're men dressed in drag, she 
truly believes that oh I must I must be a gay man myself. She, this this woman is confused. Either she's confused or she's trolling. And not wearing hair, not doing makeup. And it's not to say like females need to be girly and always have to do their hair and makeup. And that what that's what makes a female. Right. I'm not saying it that way. I'm saying it more of like when I have that masculine male energy in me with the short hair, with the pants, with my boobs strapped down more, with not getting that attention from straight men. I felt myself and I felt girl look at me I have I have men clothes I have short hair I don't have male energy I I wear sports bras but I love my breasts girl what are you trying to say I'm not trans I love my body I love being a woman I love other women I'm a lesbian woman that's how I label myself but what are you trying to say? Just because you were vlogging in, in men's clothes and short hair, you felt free? Stop with the clothing stuff. Just wear whatever the fuck you want. Cut your hair, leave your hair long, whatever you want. Girl, you ain't trans. That's what I'm trying to say. You ain't trans. So freaking happy. And that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just going to say it. Like, I identify as a boy a lot of times. I, when I don't wear hair makeup, I don't care about critiques of like, you look disgusting, you look this, you look that. Like, I'm, I'm free. I'm a free person. Girl, so many women dress down. So many women don't even wear makeup and they're, they're considered, they consider themselves women. Oh my God, you weren't the only one. Not to say you have to change it and call me T. I like the name T because I think, I think that's a very like generic and both gender name, but I mean, I'm Trish. I'm Trish. That's what it is. It's my born name and stuff like that. But I don't know. I think you can be any gender you want to be. I don't think you have to decide what gender you are. I don't think you have to announce what gender you are. I think it's not about wanting. It's not about wanting. It's the fact that a lot of trans people, a lot of trans people feel that it is what it is. What it is. They're trapped in the wrong body. It's not about wanting to be something or deciding to be something. No, it's really what it is. For them, it's really what it is. Just like me being a lesbian woman. It's what it is. I didn't make this choice. Oh, God. Girl. We can be a transgender. Are my ears turning red? That's what happens when I get annoyed, frustrated, or embarrassed. My ears turn red. A person without having the judgment of oh, you're not trans enough, you're not transitioning enough, you're not passable, you're not undetectable, like that kind of stuff. So I think a lot of my attraction, especially to gay men as opposed to straight men, come from the fact that I kind of relate to being a gay man. And I know that sounds crazy and I don't, again, don't want to offend anyone, but that's how I feel. And that's why I have to- Girl, even I'm attracted to gay men because they're good looking guys. <laughs> and I don't even like guys. Is that the fact that I can I can appreciate beauty in all genders, trans, gay, straight, male, female. I appreciate beauty, and that's all it means, girl. So many gay guy friends because they are out and they are masculine and they have masculine energy, um, but they're also like sensitive and sweet and they also like admire women and respect women. Something straight men don't do us e e either. So I've always just liked their energy, and I like that, and I've always related more to that, you know, and I never understood females being catty or competitive because I just never felt that way with another female. And I think I've been insecure in relationships with other females because in my heart, I didn't feel female at all. So like if, if someone cheated on me in a relationship, I was like, oh, it's because I'm, I'm masculine energy. I'm a male, if that makes any sense. So. Anyways, I something I just had to like get off my chest is something that I've been feeling really great about. And while yes, I do have like hair extensions back and stuff like that, one day I might just shave it all off and chop it all off to show, like, to be proud of my male side that is in me and inside me and it's who I am. So I know that's maybe not so dramatic for some people, but for me to get that off my chest and say it and so that way you guys understand me better of where I'm coming from just in general makes me feel so good and so happy and um, I appreciate all support and just know that like I love being in the LGBTQ plus community. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And whether that's me as a bisexual woman, me as a gay man, me as an ally, 
me as a transgender, I want to be a part of it. I want to do more. And I think it's something that needs to be talked about more. And it's not necessarily just a little group. That's my whole point. She just wants to be accepted in every kind of group. Group of people. Like you have to be LGBTQ. One of those to be in it. You could be all of them. You could be some of them. You could be partial that. I mean, and that I agree with. Accepting and it's all inclusive. And it's not just like straight people and LGBT. No, it's we can all be together. And this can mix a little with that. And this can mix a little with that. And then... It's just a nice world we live in, so it's not necessarily a coming out video. I just want it to be a more normalized thing that you can be any gender you choose on any given day. And that's it. Alright guys, I have some BTS of the day that I chose to be a male on Zac Efron. And then also some footage of just me literally living my best male life even after we were done shooting. So check that out. It'll be here on this channel and my second channel. So that's that. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Girl, I don't know what the hell just happened. But this girl trips me out. She trips me out. And listen, I'm not trying to knock her down because if this is real, if this video is real and she really meant every word in that video, then that's truly what you think. That's truly what you believe and that's truly what you feel, okay? And if that's what it is, that's what it is, girl. This is your life, you do you. Identify, don't identify, just be you, girl, if that's what makes you happy. But, if, if this ain't real, if you're just trying to make some views, and if you are just confused and lost, because this girl's been going to therapy for so long, and she needs a lot of help, a lot of help. But if that's the case, then girl, you are, you are offending so many people, it's ridiculous. Because you've offended, you've offended me multiple times in this video. <sighs> I don't know what to say, y'all. I don't know what to say. Tell me what you think, especially if you're trans. Comment below, let me know. A am I wrong for feeling the way I'm feeling right now? Because look at my ears are still red talking about it. Comment below, let me know. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. Also, please subscribe to Bliss and Pris. That's my vlogging channel with my wife, and it'll be at the end of this video, so make sure y'all subscribe to that. See you in the next video. Peace.